Okay, this is the mold to make a silicone version, to make exactly this silicone version. So we have these round corners and we have them also here in the mold. And here is a, a test I made and this uh, test showed that in order to use 16 millimeter rods, you should have in the mold 16 millimeter, uh, 14 millimeter holes. So you can see the 16 millimeter rod doesn't fit here. So. And you see, um, this is, will be the result just from silicone. So to make some fun shelves for kids. So I show you how it's assembled. I made a top and a bottom that is removable. So this will make it easier to get the uh, silicone body later out of the whole structure. So. This. And uh, this mold is uh, designed with FreeCut, uh, an open source uh, cut program, which I really like and love. Uh, and you can of course download the files for this uh, mold and you can 3D print it. I choose to 3D print it because then I have a really precise mold here where everything fits tight and the silicone probably won't get out. So, uh, but the printing job took quite some time. I have a really fast 3D printer, it's a Delta, but it took, I think, 10, 17, almost 18 hours to print the whole um, mold. So, now the rods. You see it's really tight, it squeezes. And um, you can see I made them much longer than needed. Why? Because uh, experience shows that this part maybe breaks off when I uh, open up the mold again. But then the rod will still be long enough to uh, use a tool to still pull it out in the end. So. satisfying to put this together. It's always beautiful when you design something like this on a computer screen and then you pull it out, put it into the printer and it works and this time it perfectly works. So I will test this now and show you how it worked. Okay I mixed the silicone and put it into the mold and it was quite nice and easy to use this hole. Apparently there is no leakage anywhere so the mold is really fit uh, and tight. And now I just have to wait till at least the majority of the air is out and in an hour from now you can dismantle the mold and see what happened but for security reasons I think I will wait longer maybe even 12 hours till I dismantle it okay six hours have passed and it should be super dry and solid. let's see okay you can see that on some points the silicone went through even the 3D printed mold, yeah, 3D printed molds for silicone. Oh, okay, that's tough. Okay, it seems not to work. Okay, let's bring in the serious weapons here. <clears throat> Definitely the mold needs a redesign to make it easier to pull off in the end.
Yes, did it. So it seems like a 3D printed mold is nothing to recommend. Or maybe I should have put something in there. Maybe some oil or so. To have it less sticky in the end. Okay, it was no cake to get this far, but it was possible. And here it is. Oh, <laughs> it lives! Found it. So you can see, it's quite solid. Let's test it. I mean, the mold looks definitely good. It looks like it can be reused, and um, yeah, you can make adjustments to the design so that it will be easier to dismantle it in the end. Will definitely be good, but not really 100% necessary. So let's see if this works. This is really the first test. Did I check this one? Yes. Oh. <laughs> oh, it works. That is a nice design for a flexible shelf will be sturdy enough to hold all kinds of stuff but so flexible and bouncy yes I'm really satisfied silicone is the way to go different shape redesign the shape a little bit Maybe find a way to save a bit more materials, adjust the mold and the whole process and you're good to go.